Kopaka, my brother. I have discovered the secret of the Borok's power, and it is also their weakness. Capture the Krana. I'm chasing a Borok now. He's heading for the Kinney. There isn't much time. Hello, I am Vikini, your glorious and efficacious host, and these are my co-hosts, Joe Squared, and along with them today we have Fishbill and Zonar from Biomedia Project. We're still doing that? Yes, we're still we doing Joe Squared. I'm Fishbill, and Liam likes to use. Oh, Jonah big words. can also be part of that because it's sort of a Joe. Hi, Fishbill. <laughs> you're you're part of Joe Squared now. Joe Joe cubed. Yes, Joe cubed. Joe cubed. It's Joe cubed now. Oh god. <laughs> Anyways, it. we're back with Bionicle the game. Banding. What is going to be a very short episode because what you see here is pretty much all there is to Kopaka's level. <laughs> I love how he's like, oh, don't worry, I can just throw my shield down, it'll expand, and then I can ride it. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of that. How has his shield gotten that big? <laughs> what? I mean, it's an interesting concept. He sort of did it in Mask of Light. But he how, the, how the hell did Jala and Takua fit on? How the hell he, did Jala and Takua fit on that in well, Mask of Light? Well... He was Nuva at the time, so his shield was much larger, and they well, are small. But Let me get this straight. I mean, when when they when they reintroduce yeah. Bionicle next year, they can expand upon the topic. <laughs> oh yeah, hardy, hardy, hard. <laughs> you you have five before. commentators for something you say is going to be a short episode. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, before we go on to Josie's, um, ramblings, <laughs> let's discuss- No, she's what? had food, it's fine this time. How is Bionicle- It's- it's gonna happen next year though, right? I mean, that's been- No, proven. that's Suppose never it's, been it's confirmed. Only rumor. It's just a rumor that it's coming back, because supposedly there's no plans for Hero Factory at that time, <laughs> and Christian Faber is working on rebooting an old IP. So well, Lego, does, is Lego it doesn't really IP. bring back old franchises. So it's going to be like, um, I'm blanking right now. What's that? Oh, the Nostalgia Critic. It's going to be like the Nostalgia Critic and, um, and that one show that no one watched. I think Hero Factory is basically demo reel at this point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So which one is Malcolm? Hey, look, Nuju's awfully, awfully animated mouth. His name is what? Nuju. His, his head just looks Excuse like a Krana. Me? Yeah, it does look like a Krana. Oh god. His name is Taraga Nuju, and he's supposed to speak like a bird, but he doesn't. In this game, he also I, did speak. Really he me. spoke English early on in actual canon, though. I think. Yeah, he's yeah. he's in the he's, first he's able to speak English. He he just. No, spoke I know English. he's able to. It's a choice thing, but. but see, the only reason he spoke English in that in that one comic book in his first comic appearance was because talking to Kopako is kind of really important, and he wanted to make sure Kopaka knew what the hell was going on. And I don't think there Matoro was, no was around at the time. There was time to dick around with some silly bird speak. By the way, look at this awful first-person view. How about that? Yeah, who made this game again? Uh, Argonaut. The same people who made the Super Effects chip and Star Fox. They that explains a really? lot. Really? Yeah. was a decent game. It was, I'm not going to say it was excellent or something. Oh yeah, they made Croc too. <laughs> it was a good game. Uh, Wait, did, did you just I say like they made the entire Super Effects chip? Yes, yes, they literally developed the chip. And they made Star Fox 64, or a uh, code. They made all it. the Star Fox games. How did you, uh, how do you make the, game the Star game. Fox games and then make this? Well, they only ever made Star Fox 1. They were making Star Fox 2, didn't complete well, it. Let, no, Star Fox but, 2 was completed. There is a ROM yeah. out there. Okay, well, but it was never released. Yeah. And then, ha on like 99% of everything, was reused with Star Fox 64. Oh, Tour of Ice. You have saved our How is he talking? Ice. How is he talking? Alas, Look at the. Why is, is his mouth. Uh, why is his mouth a hexagon? <laughs> it's kind of turning inside out a little bit. I can sort of see that voice coming out of that mouth. It sounds like he has. He's. His voice actually sounds like he can't properly close his mouth. Okay, <laughs> viewers, 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 if, if you oh. if you want to explain what happened and why he can do that, comment and oh. also uh, like and subscribe if you are so choose. Look, of course, Tanok would push the boulder. Not yeah, I mean, not, really. Not 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 like Parak or Newbagger. This, no, this section the of the level. One. This section of the level can actually be really annoying. 
Just because if you get hit by enough boulders, the bigger one closes in on you, and the closer it gets, the more difficult it is to dodge the ones that are coming at you, so you just consistently slow to a crawl. And I just got lucky that I made it past there. I mean, look at that. He clearly got run over by that in the cutscene. Grandma got run over by a Borok. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, if you want to see Vakiti get ran over by a Borok, please like, comment, and subscribe, and rate. I tried to warn you <laughs> no, I, I think this is literally the first video on Liam's channel that's telling people to subscribe to his videos. I think it is, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm surprised they didn't use that. Liam's horn here, too. Yeah, maybe we should uh, okay, do that I, I was often. saying in the previous episode that uh, the beta screenshots of Takoro actually have Tamatora yeah. rendered, so there's no excuse for this shit. <laughs> Wait, Liam, how about we just play the next level, and then just tack it on to the end of the episode? What? Cause you- cause this one's gonna be short, you said. I let's guess- well, I guess we could do that. Yeah, let's Yay. Do that. You know what, let's just play the whole game, do the whole game right now. No. <laughs> ah, this looks super difficult. It's not. It, basically, all you have to do is get right out to the ball rock, activate your shield to fling it into the air, and then mash the shoot button a few times. Yes. But anyway, no, we should totally do. We should totally just record the entire Let's Play now. Because you well, know we already, already did that. Take the when money, I... Liam. We have so much money already. It's. It, it would. It. We need to get rid of it. So let's do the Let's Play all at once. But we. We are literally did that swimming when I in cash right now. It. Oh yeah, I, I bought 150 sea cows. I, I bought and I bought um a five dollar Steam game with my YouTube money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you we did. paid you. I, mean, I, <laughs> bought, to the other I said I forgot did. we paid you. So that was a level. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. Episode <laughs> over. Black screen. God damn it. Hey, look, cutscene. Do the transformation. Look, they don't actually have any no, cutscene. The six chaos Krana! I guess. I guess it's like to this. They it's just like an power range. So it don't really matter. They use it's the like power of the. They use the power of the six chaos Krana to turn no, into it's super like Toa. Power Rangers with the spinny thing. Super Toa. Da na 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 na. We are Toa Nuva now. Fuck you, don't get- You read the comics, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Cannon. What's that? So uh, this is oh. the episode in which Galley single-handedly defeats all the Bullrock Cal. Spoilers. This is oh, the yeah. episode in which you like- Not even Tahu Nuva, the only one that would have made sense with. And yet the Matoran are still using their Tohunga builds. The Matoran There's like, so comment, and subscribe. Look, Actually, no, I think they turned into- I think they did the rebuild oh, after the Cal were defeated. I Look, they don't even- yeah, they did. Yeah, they don't they even- did. they don't they even the change the Cal, they're just silver they're instead of- it's just a Tanox that's <laughs> silver. Yeah. They didn't even bother to give it the right- the right shield. No, Kama's you know model is strange. Do you know what Tanox do, Joe? Fire. Fire. They like, comment, and subscribe to YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, they of course. do. Of course, that's what they do. <laughs> so, what was that conversation we were trying to have about Bionicle before I stopped you because we weren't having it recorded yet? Oh yes, uh, there is a rumor that Lego will be bringing it back in 2015. I don't actually think they're going to, but I do know that if they were going to, they would be doing it then. Because well, Lego doesn't really be. Lego doesn't really reboot franchises, so they're all of these bring back Bionicle campaigns are completely pointless. The old, look, I did I, it. Was, I put one on Kuso when it first came out, and it was taken down, so I just yep. couldn't be. If bothered. Lego wants to, they'll do it. But asking one. them to is not going to work. And now, now Fluffy can talk. There's another one oh. on Kuso. I thought they disallowed I, that. There was one not too too long ago. Let's look, see. I know they're gonna they're gonna bring back the night. Set. Oh god. Well, duh! Wait, wait, I have a, I have a best idea. Yeah. What if it turned out Hero Factory was a future dimension version of Bionicle? That would be very upset. 
that would make me very upset because of how diluted the story is in Hero yeah. Victory. And they combined the franchises. Think about it. No, I would, that would not make me at all happy. I would probably end up disowning it altogether. Yeah. Bionicle Lego Factory. Factory. Yeah, yeah, I, I, the Lego I'm Movie sick. confirms I... that Bionicle takes place in the same in the same continuity. In some way, it's it, it's part of the Lego universe in some way. Bionicle yes. in the Lego movie. But Bionicle is in the Lego movie, kind of. Yeah. Oh. For, for, a single frame. One, yeah. for a single frame. For a single frame. There are also rumors that apparently Matoro, a Matoro minifigure, is part of the dog scene, but I've never been able to locate I, it. I didn't. Although see I did notice one thing interesting, Josie, when I was uh, playing back the cutscenes of the game, there are some minifigures that are blurred out. Yes. Like specifically censored. Yes, uh, they weren't a lot. They couldn't obtain the rights to use the Simpson characters, so they had to take them that one out. Really? Yeah. Huh. <coughs> That's interesting. I guess. What I was gonna say was, I, I so when Zeller's around here was closing, I splurged, and since all the Hero Factory sets were like 50% off. Or something. I bought like seven of them, right? Yeah. Because I was like, well, it's Bionicle 2.0. How bad could it be? <laughs> so then, yeah. So then I got it, and I was like, oh, this is this is lame. They're like, yeah, I only have they're, one Hero Factory set. They're like, yeah, I I would never have bought one if they weren't super cheap. It was like I only they have. They usually I, were like have... they were like 15 bucks, and then they were like six. So it was like, sure. So I love, I, by the way, how the widescreen uh, patch that's on this game doesn't actually work when you're underwater. Yeah. See, I that's have the so original Ferno and Von Nebula. I didn't put Von Nebula together God. yet because I was moving ah, at the time. Looking at Ferno uh, over the years, the original Ferno was good. Ferno 2.0 was okay. After that, they just went full-on clusterfuck with the sets. So my yeah. favorite set... So they went galley. They went galley mystica with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, you know, my favorite sets for the Hero Factory that I have are actually female. There's the I didn't know. I just googled it. Right. I'm like, what the hell is this guy? Oh, it's a girl. Hey, am I the only one who's disappointed that the Anika turned into the Mari? I'm not really disappointed. I'm just confused. I wasn't really disappointed in that. Cause like I like the Anika, I like the Anika builds, and I wish that the Anika were still there. I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm just confused. Forever. You dislike the you like the Anika build? It's the same build six times. The yes. Anika build was unique when it was the Anika build. Yeah, but it's it's one of those it's one of those designs that if you're gonna reuse the same design forever. You might as well pick a good one. Anyway, I wasn't done. So the point was that they, I, I was super disappointed because they have no pins or anything. It's just like, oh, ball joints. Why the fuck not? And then they just like, let's see if we can make an entire set out of just ball joints. And then they did. Wow. And then they made a whole series out of them. We've oh. got... Balls! Dude! The, dude, the armor is connected by a ball joint! What? What? Yes. What? It's like there's like what? it's like it's like How? a limb and then there's yeah. a ball in the middle and then you put the armor on it. Yeah, yeah. That was, was Lego me. just I'm really shocked. excited about Dude, being able to about how they was of... Lego just really <laughs> excited that they were able to figure out how to make the ball sockets not snap? That reminds me of the shin armor on Mata Nui and how loose that shit was. Yeah, yeah, it moves around. Yeah, I was trying to make like it's really a, annoying. I was I took them apart and tried to make something out of it, but it's friggin' impossible! Because it's all balls! You can't make anything that isn't a guy or girl. That's you know the one thing that annoyed me so much about Hero Factory is when they started using non standard technic pieces that couldn't be put into other technic sets without a lot of effort and ingenuity. Yeah, see, that's what that's what people disliked about Bionicle. This took it to the extreme. At least Bionicle, you could take the pieces and use them in unique ways. Yeah, it, right yeah, from the start. Now. Right from the start, be it for uh, m money or experimental purposes, they used a lot of a lot more standard technic pieces than anything else. You only have to I've, look to sets like I've the seen, Manas for proof of that. 
I've and seen, and the I've seen I've all the Toa torsos actually used for other for other mocks and and sets. And I stuff, was able so. to use Zamor spheres as eyes for things, and those yeah, are I just balls. Too. Those yeah. are each. But but like uh, what I liked about Bionicle is they at least had like pinholes, so you could yeah. In them even and on even on parts like weapons that didn't logically need pinholes for anything and were never actually used in any future sets. They guys. were still there. Guys, yeah. the new guy is trying to talk. Okay. Sh uh, should we kill him? Yeah. No. Listen. Ben decided. Okay, new guy, if you want to talk, the rule here is to just shout the loudest. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, by the way, speaking of shouting the loudest, I have a question. Yeah? <laughs> if, if Bionicle were rebooted, would they just extend the 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 current storyline or would I they I don't see why they couldn't because it's let as it stands uh, Greg has left the story incomplete as far as the online web ser series goes. I know what's going to happen. So it They're could take, even if they did completely reboot it, it could take place on Spherus Magna many years in the future. Oh. Because they're yeah. gonna make like they're gonna make like Beast Wars versions. It's gonna be like the same characters that are somehow different, and they're all from the future yet also the past. Well, I can and see that like... happening. Like all the original Mata are now Turaga. There's a new set of ca uh, main. No, cast. no, no, no. None of the new character, none of the old characters appear except like a dead guy who's a ghost. Well, I could see it. Do I could see it working if they put it so far in the future that the Mata had become the new Turaga. That would a be kind dead of guy is a ghost. Spoilers. What? Oh, I I think it's kind of interesting. Star Scream, but yeah. What if it What if it took place in a more modernized world of Bionicle? So basically, Metru Nui. Metru Nui, but everywhere. <laughs> and, yeah. And less like freaking dictatorship. Or one of those Takanuva alternate universes. I want those expanded so, like, on. Like Hero Factory, but a thousand years before Hero Factory. <laughs> but and yeah. this was the, the final issue connects Hero Factory and Bionicle. No. <laughs> you go, you go die between in a Hero fire, Factory Fishville. and Bionicle. Fishville, you can go die in a fire. Oh, hey, you, thanks, can go, you can go, you, you can go die arranged. with a Turaga. You can go die with a Turaga. I don't even yeah. know what a Turaga oh, is. No. This what if they do that, or what if they just reboot it, and then we can all just say we were fans of, we're fans of the Gen One Bionicles. <laughs> we don't like, I know a little Bionicles, but still, I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> like, no, we'll go with like, Gen One like, because it's Transformers reference and it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Like we're Gen One, but we're Gen Oneers. We don't. We're, <laughs> we're you know, Gen Oneers. We Speaking are the best. Crossovers. We ira we irrationally hate everything else for no reason. <laughs> except you know, it it would be less it would be more logical than the irrational hate Pokemon has, but you know actually, still I don't know. I just just thinking about it. I actually think they would do something that would create a new storyline at least at the very least create a new main major arc. Well that's why I said go go into the future, keep all the original cast in different forms, like the Mata are now Taraga of the land. Except for the ones who are dead now. It's just it's just necessary because um I don't think Lego would continue a franchise that that has been cancelled for five years with a cancel. Yeah Lego storyline. Lego doesn't do that. Yeah. Honestly? Yeah, they would never do that, especially considering there's like 10 years of continu continuity to tell Honest people about. Honestly, if I were, if I had to take a, make a choice between seeing Hero Factory merge with the Bionicle uh, canon or something else, I would take Slicers. Yeah, or Slicers could work. Whatever. Interesting to remake. I would what love is Slicers. To throwbots. It's throwbots. Yeah. What is it? The predecessor. They're robots that throw like things. Bionicle. 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 I think like it ran from like 1997 to 2000 or something. I think it was actually 97 to 99, and then they had uh, Robo Riders. Robo Riders. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I think I think Bionicle could work mainly because even kids who were born Apple who or who started using Lego or, or whatever after Bionicle was canceled know what Bionicle is. Everyone knows what it is. Yeah. Everyone Usually knows what it old, is, they're, and they're it is what it is. It. it is a badger. Because, like, their older siblings played it or whatever, so it can. It, I think it could actually make a comeback. Plus, you have all the, you have all of the older Lego fans who are fans of Bionicle um, buying it, so you already have an audience. 
Yeah. I don't know, so, honestly. Like, I stopped buying the sets myself after the prices went up. Oil prices went yeah, up. Then plastic prices went up. Then the then the price of the sets went up. And finally, the final nail in the coffin was when the quality of the plastic went down because oh, the plastic God, prices went pieces. up. pieces. And literally yeah, everything so started breaking. I no like longer it. have. Oh, I no longer have a buildable Alec figure because every single socket joint completely shattered into every millions of pieces. Every single socket joint on my Tanma is, is destroyed. Wow. I'm, I'm legitimately break. scared at any point to ever have to take apart my stars line. Oh. Yeah, my Tahu, my Tahu's arm, the stars one broke. I mine have been, have mine have been in storage for months, I and I'm afraid when I take them out, they're going to just explode. So how about that Rahi boat? I have Rahi boat. Just, just walk into the mouth of the whale. And Did something happen while I wasn't paying attention? I have well, Gali, Nokama, um, and the Gamatoran yeah, all walked into the mouth of a oh, giant yeah, whale are. Rahi, and then now we're fighting the Borok Kel, all six yeah, of them. Apparently Borok Kel are just like normal Borok, they're not except They're, not they're just like normal Borok, they're just like normal Borok, except with a lot more particle effects, making it very difficult to see them. Particle yeah, man, particle man, oh, does can. whatever a particle can. And and they can't, like, they're not, like, way more powerful than the normal ones. Fuck that shit. I love how there are masks of elemental energy all around this place. It's like, oh, this totally wasn't easy enough as Tahu without a single one there. No, let's you know, put them all in here when you're a fucking Toa Nuva. You know, this game's... This game's decent, but I think the man is significantly better. Nobody knows what that is, because you haven't made it yet. No, no, <laughs> no context. <laughs> the man is much better. At this time, Fishbill's working on a game called The Man. We have basic dura three directional movement. No, 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 don't, no, don't tell them any about it. Just You can tell, you can tell them. Can no, tell them. it's funnier if you just leave it completely <coughs> blank. Game, but you can only move in in the in the primary directions, and I'm and there's gravity. I you just can, noticed too. Is these is are just 3D? recolored. These are all just yeah. recolored Bullrock. Yeah. Because I'm riding. He already, I'm I riding. said, dude. I meant. Well, I know you mentioned the Tanok. I know you mentioned the Tanok Cal was only recolored, but all of them are apparently like that. No, he said all of them. Look, it's the Bionicle's look. Bionicle looks weird. Um, in 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 CG. Yeah, Takua's Takua's model in this game is strange. Anyways, we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Hello, hello, and welcome to the newest ep. Oh, you ended the video. Good job, guys. <laughs>